Cancer. This will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 15th through September the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for September the 15th through September the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for September the 15th through September the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for September the 15th through September the 16th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon. Rising and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Cancer, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So cancer, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting the gift, giving the gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the page of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the page of pentacles for cancer. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now listen, Cancer, this could all be work or business, dealing with your practicality here. And maybe your ships are here. Maybe you're getting this opportunity here with work or business or your finances are looking good. The ships are here. You could also tell me this is work or business dealing with your practicality. And now maybe you're ready to look to see what else is out there. You could also tell me that this is in a relationship. Now, you can tell me this person is stepping up to the plate, speaking on commitment now. Maybe you had to wait a long time. You could also tell me that Something, some type of news is going on with you guys. It's commitment and you're ready to look to see what else is out there. You want to turn your back on a situation and look to see what else is out there. You have the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So, Cancer, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Wands 
for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. And this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress. For Cancer. Clarify the Empress. For Cancer. Clarify the Empress. For Cancer. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Cancer, it could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil. If I can't, sir, clarify the devil. If I can't, sir, clarify the devil. If I can't, sir. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So, Cancer, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Cancer, you can tell me that this is dealing with a legal binding contract, possibly work or business concerning your abundance and you're conflicted within about it. You're needing to make a decision or you're, you need to pick a path here. You could also tell me that, you know, this you're conflicted within because you're tempted to nurture the relationship further because it's some type of romantic, not romantic, there's some type of relationship news here. Okay, and you're at a crossroads. Could also be that someone is wanting to nurture the relationship further to go into a legal binding contract here. And maybe you want to wait and think. You want to wait and think because you're conflicted within about it. You can tell me that dealing with this Libra, this Taurus, this Aries, this spouse, this parent of your child, that something was toxic here. Could have been some type of heated discussion or argument. And now you're trying to figure out what to do, where to go from here, whether or not to turn your back on a situation and just look to see what else is out there or to travel to get away from the situation. Cancer. You have two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Cancer, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles. But Cancer, clarify the two of pentacles. But Cancer, clarify the two of pentacles. But Cancer, it is clarified with the six of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Cancer, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Cancer, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you move away from the relationship? Should you, shouldn't you just put it behind you and let bygones be bygones? Or you're telling me the reason why you want to move away from the relationship is because they were juggling. 
Hmm. Could be debating about some type of travel here concerning your abundance and work or business. Cancer, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for cancer. Clarify the hangman for cancer. Clarify the hangman for cancer. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Cancer, you can tell me that things are on hold here. You were suffering some type of financial lack here. Could also tell me you were just conflicted within about making a move concerning work or business or a legal binding contract. Maybe you just wanted to wait, you know. Maybe there was some type of hesitation. Cancer, you could also tell me that you guys are stagnant because you broke up here. Hmm. Cancer, you have the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So cancer, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. Clarify the seven of swords for cancer. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for cancer. Clarify the moon. For cancer, clarify the moon. For cancer, it is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So cancer, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Cancer, I feel like <clears throat> some type of secret of deception has come out, and you're feeling a sense of betrayal. This can be in the relationship. I don't know if you're finding out that there's someone else involved here. There's competition in the picture. Someone was juggling here. But this could also be work or business where you were expecting something to come in your abundance and maybe you just are trying to leave the situation you're debating on whether or not to leave maybe you decide to leave for your abundance sake but if someone's cheating you work a business or relationship someone's cheating you but you're gonna find out about it let's take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner cancer if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I didn't let you meet my family or friends because they are toxic and they know all my secrets. I didn't let you meet my family or friends because they are toxic and they know all my secrets. And they will tell on them. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Cancer. That's the parents right there. And it says, I'm afraid to contact you. I'm afraid to contact you 
Cancer, this will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 15th through September the 16th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.